Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tosin and today I am going to be transforming this wig into something spectacular. So this is the Gabriella wig from the Janet collection in the color 1B. I got it for $17.50 with shipping it amounted up to $24.45. And yes, this is a synthetic wig, hence why you can see you know i kind of struggle when i'm trying to comb it out because it does get tangled and since it is synthetic um i noticed that it got very frizzy when it was curly the curls just weren't popping anymore and i got this about a month ago too so it didn't take very long for it to get like that keep in mind i probably didn't like maintain it as well as i could have but what's done is done as you can see i've decided to straighten it because i wanted to go for a new look and instead of buying a completely different wig i was like let me just save some money and transform this one so that is what i am doing and i know what you're thinking can you really flat iron a synthetic wig like this and clearly <laughs> as you can see yes you can um, what I noticed, okay, so the flat iron was on 350 degrees, I'm pretty sure, and this hair is very thick. One thing about it, I, I didn't even realize how thick it was until I started straightening it, so that was fun for me. But yes, it's very thick, but at the same time, it's also very soft. I was not expecting that from a synthetic wig. But it still was pretty tangled, so I didn't really bother, like, combing it out too much. And, um, at the end, I also noticed, you know, I'm not the best at flat ironing, so please don't judge me. Like, I tried my best. I wasn't supposed to get a bone straight anyways. I just wanted it to be, like, somewhat straight to get the look that I wanted. And the look that I wanted was a look I've been seeing going around TikTok. It's, like um straight hair and then you got like, the little cute fringe bangs in the front so as you can see i'm just starting to cut my bangs and i'm cutting them pretty low to start off so i don't make a mistake or like cut them too short um i'm very cautious with it as well and as you can see later on when i get closer i yeah that's not cute <laughs> but as i get closer to the length that i want I start to shape it and honestly it's just a matter of trial and error and I take the hair scissors not regular scissors but when I get closer to the length I want make sure that you use um, make sure you use um, specifically hair scissors and not just regular like scissors and I just start like doing that thing I see all these people doing but um yeah it's really just trial and error you really just gotta keep on playing with it until you get the look that you want um, I'm not gonna lie, even after this video, I was still, like, tweaking it a little bit, so in later videos, you might be able to see some slight differences, and please ignore my edges, um, <laughs> if I'm wearing this look out, they will be laid, they will be concealed, you will not be able to see them, but, um, yeah, and ignore the little stray hairs, like, come on, I'm not perfect, but, um, yeah, this is basically the final look kind of i told you i'm still tweaking the bangs a little bit but um let me know what you guys think i'm personally like in love with this hair like i feel like such a uh, i don't know i just feel like such a tiktok girl like it's crazy it's such a cute look i mean the bangs do get in your eyes sometimes but like i think it's worth it but at the same time it is not wig season it's low-key too hot to be wearing wigs so that's another thing to consider especially because this hair is so thick but um yeah let me know what you guys think ignore my edges once again and yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and yeah i will see you guys next